Do we have one more? We have one more. Yeah, I think we got one. This is the best one. Drake's curse. So who's Drake going to bet on? And uh, who's going to lose? Man. Who, who's got this yeah, I think one first? It's, I think it's you. Oh. Oh, this one's obvious. Um, it's got to be Jamal Hill, man. Like, here's the thing, though. Like... <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, wait. Okay, thing. go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I personally want Jamal Hill to win. I do. Um, but as I've stated on multiple videos, I just think it's too early, man. I think it's too early to fight somebody of Alex Pajeda's ilk at, at this point of your recovery. You are still in recovery, sir. And I, I just think it's too much. And I think that Drake is I mean, he, he he's he's out here taking L's himself you know what I'm saying Kendrick has flamed him so I mean he's just gonna mess up Jamal Hill's stuff too so Drake is gonna mess it all up and uh, Jamal's gonna, gonna lose and... do you think fighters call him at this stage and say please don't just please don't put money on me I don't know cause they That's should the for real it really did, is, man. Did he bet on on uh, on Dustin? I don't. I don't think so. Let's see. I know he bet on he bet on Izzy last time. That's for sure. Against Sean Strickland. Yeah, he certainly did that. I mean, that was that must have really stung. He thought he had that one in the bag. Yeah. Thought that was easy money. He's like, Fuck, I'm gonna break the curse. It's gonna be an easy one. I know he's bet on like Paddy and Molly in the past. And actually got wins because I think he sent them watches or whatever. Oh. Like. Well, he bet on Strickland too. Yeah, he did. He bet on Sean Strickland. Against Strickus. Mm-hmm. That must have really stung. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he, he bet on um um Francis Ngannou as well. Yeah, that was just brain dead. Well against Anthony Joshua. Yeah, he, he bet on um, Jake Paul against Tommy Fury. Yeah, oh, yeah. he put one point two million on Leon. Uh, now he won that one. Yeah, he got that Tomorrow. one. Oh, no, to be on Kobe. Uh, mm -hmm. For was it was it Kobe? That was Kamara. That's what I saw that he bet on. Uh, I did Leon see to be Kobe. Kobe. That's Kobe. Yeah, he did. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's got some wins, but he's got a lot of losses. Yeah. More losses than wins. That's why it's a curse. 100%. Yeah. yeah. A sub 500 record. I forgot Sean Strickland's nickname was Tarzan. Okay. All right, Frankie. Before I take us down a rabbit hole. Um. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few, obviously, obvious contenders, but I'm just going to go straight to the... I think he's going to lose money better on Charles Oliveira. Charlie Olives. Yeah, I have a, Ooh. I have a, re I love, you know how much I love Charles Oliveira, I really do. I think he's going to lose this fight. I, I think it's going to be very reminiscent of the fight that he had with Islam. And the, the thing is, yeah, well, I'm going to, we'll talk about this a little bit more when we do the, when we do the breakdown, so look out for that. This is, this is a little spoiler alert for you, because you probably weren't expecting me to say this. But um, I think Charlie Charlie does well against people that he he um, that have like a fear of going down to the ground with him. Whereas I don't think Armand's going to have that fear. He's very very solid on the ground in terms of wet blanketing and defending from jujitsu positions and stuff like that. I think he's very very good there. And I think if they get into a striking match and he catches him. Charlie's going to go down thinking I'll either have some time or he'll come in with me and I'll be able to deal with him and he's going to get he's going to be really surprised at how powerful he is and I can see Armin possibly wet blanketing him for, for long periods of this fight and maybe um, like I said winning maybe not in the most you know emphatic fun way but yeah and I think I think that Drake is going to be dumb enough to bet on Charlie because I think a lot of people are going to be doing the same. A lot of people seem to be, especially with the odds that he's at as well. 
I mean, how do you bet against Charles, Charles Oliver? And, you know, Sorokin, he hasn't beaten anybody too spectacular. Benu, I guess, but like... That's the only one I thought of too. I think, I think, yeah, I think if I'm Armin... the biggest one. Yeah. <clears throat> if if I'm Armin, I'm, I'll, I wouldn't want to go to the ground with Charles. That's for sure. Yeah, and I, yeah, most people That's like don't. the bulk of his wins, so... Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think the you know, Olives and Sorokin is going to be very similar to what the Islam fight was like. I really do. Mm. I'm glad you said that. I have a counter argument to that when we talk about it. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Looking forward. I don't. To I don't want to vote on this one. <laughs> I don't want to vote on this one. I don't, if I'm if I'm voting, I would probably say Jamal Hill. Unfortunately. So I mean, I just hope that that he doesn't bet on Jamal Hill. That's that's yeah. really what it comes down to. I'm I'm going for Jamal. Nothing against Alex. It's just um it's just something about Jamal. He feels more relatable to me. Not because he's black, but because of how his personality. Um Yeah. It, it just feels more relatable. Um mm-hmm. even though I like Alex a lot. He he has charisma that we can't fully grasp because we mm-hmm. don't speak Portuguese. But he's got some charisma too. Now I don't think he's gonna be saying no call outs if he wins this fight. But he already called out the person he was gonna call out um in the last fight. So um you I don't see no call out. You think he'll call out Izzy again if he wins? If if he calls out anybody, it'd be Tom Aspinall. You think so? I think that I like that. Incredible. I think that Can would I be change, incredible. Yeah. Can yeah. I change my diplomatic uh <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it'll do. I mean, it's, that's exactly what it'll do. And it's almost like a lot of people will be like, "How can you deny him?" Well, you know, conventional wisdom says you need to defend the belt a couple more times, but monetarily, uh, people hmm. would say, um, "Let's go ahead and book that fight." So, yeah, yeah. Even if they didn't do it, if he has, if he has the if he has the uh, cojones to, like, to even make the call up. People are going to be like, whoa, he wanted it. Yeah. yeah. And he just comes on and all he says is Tom Aspinall's name. And then just like... Just drops the mic and walks off. Dead man. He can speak a little English, so... No, no, no. We don't want yeah. that. We just want the no, name. No, no, no. I don't need a whole sentence. Yeah. I just need to say... Yeah. Israel, that is home. So serious. He's like, Israel, that is home. <laughs> yeah, that was that was funny. Okay, I, I forgot about yeah, that. That was hilarious. Yeah, I wish he would have just said like the Pikachu thing. That would have been hilarious. Man, Do you, See, I think that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alex is yeah. such a troll. Like he, yeah. he's a massive troll. He got a whole jacket to make fun of this dude. Like he, he got can't charisma. come on the mic be happy <laughs> that would have been hilarious that would have been funny that would have been funny